everyone, I'm Victoria Tabak, licensed New York and New Jersey esthetician and CEO of Nature Pure Skin Care. I'm so excited to be bringing you exclusive content through Dermascope each month in 2019 in my monthly video column, Formula Wiz. I look forward to sharing with you all you need to know on the top and hottest skincare ingredients in the industry, including on cannabis, vital hormones, butcher's broom, and so much more. You'll learn where the ingredients derived from, how do they actually work, and what type of skin do they actually benefit. Stay tuned as this month I will be discussing alpha and beta hydroxy acids. Alpha hydroxy acids and beta hydroxy acids, they are rather different. Alpha hydroxy acids are water soluble and beta hydroxy acids are oil or fat soluble. So one is more beneficial for drier skin and the other one is more beneficial for oilier, breakout prone or acneic skin. Let's examine what are the actual acids. They are carboxylic acids and depending on the molecular size determines how effective or how deep the molecule can penetrate. The most effective or aggressive of the alpha hydroxy acids would be the glycolic acid with the smallest molecular size. And as you go down the list of the alpha hydroxy acids, it has a longer chain attached to the molecule, so it cannot penetrate as deep, making it a milder or weaker alpha hydroxy acid. You have five different alpha hydroxy acids that we want to examine. Glycolic acid is derived from sugar cane, lactic acid from sour milk, malic acid from apples, tartaric acid from grapes, and citric acid from citrusy fruit, including oranges or lemons. And the way that alpha hydroxy acids work is that they are an exfoliating ingredient. They work to break up the structure or unglue the cells that sit and make up the stratum corneum, the outermost layer of the epidermis, allowing for the dead skin cells to subtly and almost invisibly in their action slough away the dead skin cells, which allows for the skin texture to become smoother, uh, the complexion can become brighter, and ultimately through that exfoliating action, it allows for fine lines and wrinkles to slowly minimize as well. Alpha hydroxy acids can work gently or mildly in a home care product, but when they are used in a peel procedure, they can function on a more aggressive scale. Everything comes down to the pH of the peel or the pH of the product. And the ultimate uh, artistry of uh, alpha hydroxy containing product is the balance between having the pH at its absolute lowest while trying to control or minimize side effects. Those two are inversely related. The lower the pH of the product, the greater uh, is the side effect possibility. Uh, of a chemist who's formulating a skincare product needs to get that perfect balance because obviously the lower the pH, the more aggressive the product will work, the more aggressive will be the results, but there's immediately risk of much higher side effects. Typically, a skincare product, especially one that is used in home care, should range between about 2.8 pH to about a 3.5. Peels can range anywhere from a 2.8 all the way down. So obviously, the lower the pH, the deeper the peel. With glycolic acid, it is the smallest molecule of all of the alpha hydroxy acids, so it is able to penetrate the deepest, so it can boost collagen and elastine production in the lower layers as well, besides for its topical exfoliating action. And of course, other benefits include that it kind of sets and paves the way 
for boosting the efficacy of other ingredients and other products that are being used because they can better penetrate. The way that the top layer of our skin is laid out is that the cells, they build up and regenerate and build up on top of themselves. Uh, it is very important to exfoliate the skin so that not only will it uh, remedy skin from looking dull or lifeless, but it will also always boost the efficacy of whatever other treatments and skincare products are being used. Other benefits of alpha hydroxy acids include repairing sun damage and pigmentation on the skin, including age spots and melasma. It helps boost cell turnover and how quickly the cells can regenerate themselves so that new baby skin can develop. Beta hydroxy acids. As I mentioned before, it is an oil soluble, a fat soluble ingredient. It works much better for oily or acneic skin. It can penetrate right through the follicle, right through the pores to the core of where sebum develops and actually control and decrease sebum production, which is essentially the core of what enables that excess oil to the surface of the skin which creates a breeding ground for bacteria. Not only does salicylic acid exfoliate but it also can control oil production and combat the breakouts and the acne in that way. Salicylic acid originally was derived from willow tree or willow bark. In willow bark is silicin which is a type of salicylate and salicylate or salicin in willow bark when hydrolyzed actually converts to salicylic acid. Salicylic acid is considered an OTC and over-the-counter because it is a relative to aspirin and is one of the most effective treatments for controlling oil production and controlling inflammation leading to acne and breakouts. Alpha and beta hydroxy acids do cause sun sensitivity, so using sun protection is an absolute necessity. Home care products containing alpha hydroxy acids can range anywhere from 2% all the way up to 10%. Salicylic acid for a home care product typically is between 1% to two percent and whereas an in spa service can, can range anywhere from 30 percent all the way up alpha and beta hydroxy acids offer a great option for exfoliating the skin to improve hyperpigmentation fine lines wrinkles skin texture and of course with salicylic acid control oil production stay tuned for next month where i will be discussing phytoenzymes Thank you.